Hello everybody, Zach here. Welcome back to Circuit Superstars. The all new Hot Ride Summer Patch is live to the public. It went through beta testing, I think, a little bit ago, or like an open community play test. Um, but now we have it in the full game. So there's some different things, like up here you can now see my Grand Prix uh, ranking online and time trials ranks. If they were there, I have not played ranked online yet. Um, but let's go into Grand Prix and you can see here, we got the Sprint Car Cup. So on the left side, you've got these different um, you got your different trophies for different things, but you have to actually get a certain amount of points to unlock certain things. And that includes, uh, well, a bunch of different stuff. There's basically a ladder now. Um, but by getting to the point where I'm at, I'm able to unlock the sprint cars and we're able to head to one of the new tracks, the Poke Bowl. But with that being said, we're going to head into the sprint car cup, even though I have no idea how these sprint cars handle. And, uh, I'm excited to see the new tracks and see how these cars handle. Let's go. Here is the all new Poke Bowl. We can see the cars that are called tubular. And here's my 24 car in my colors, starting with qualifying. Oh, wow. These have, these have guts. So it's making me clear because it's kind of handling everybody in qualifying. You don't want to be able to hit anybody in qualifying, man. I've got to get used to how these handle. Hey, that says first, but okay. We're waiting on all the other AI. Mind you, this is amateur. So this is going to be the easiest this is, that this is ever going to be. Um, and after going in pro and above, I think in some of the other things, um, I have not recorded that stuff, but you know, the AI is pretty good and does get better as you go up the, up the ladder. All right, let's start here with the first race at the Poke Bowl. Um, oh, that's cool. Let's go. First race with the tubulars here. Oh, that's cool to see the actual start paths from us there. So, you know, the difference here, right? Obviously is that instead of, um, Instead of tire marks, we have dirt marks, essentially. I feel like I'm taking a horrible line, but you know what? I'm gonna learn eventually. <laughs> no, but I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn the right way to drive this potentially in one of the higher cups because I'm just smoking them and I'm doing the worst. And we're already coming out on the back of the pack. That being said, We've only got one more lap here at the Poke Bowl. Cool little dirt track. I dig it. But yeah, as you can see, the AI did not do so hot. We did decent considering, like I said, this is the amateur. This is the start. Maybe we should have started at a harder difficulty, but I wanted to go through it as I would. Anyways. We got 22 points with the trail behind us sun and agda 16 and 14 and as you can see like the level progression what xp you get you remove bonus xp for restarting all that sun kind of stuff all right sunny side park and then for these on i guess i'm starting at the back um I guess that's just how the, you know, the championship works. You then start in a reverse grid. I don't know if that's part of the new update or if it's for different cups. I don't know. Try not to get into an accident here with our other sprint cars. I like the little tone for every position gained. It's good information. I think there's also, yep, the ability to bring up the names here. And then also, if I want, I can just leave this little indicator that lets you know what car I'm in. If I'm with some uh, more, some more difficult opponents, that would obviously make sense. I would be in the pack and you'd be able to see me. Oh, we really drove into that turn. It's okay. There'll still be a challenge here. It'll be, uh, can I not fail out in the front? Can I not, 
fail in a, like a time trial run, basically. That'll be the challenge here. And if I can stay on the damn track, that'll also be the challenge too. And I love that Circuit Superstars just keeps getting updates, just keeps getting better. It's one of those things where, oh, well, like I said, can I stay out here in front? No, but the base game here is just so good um, that, you know, all it really does need to do is add some stuff every once in a while, change up some stuff. And I think the community really appreciates that. Uh, I feel like there's also a really good community around it. I got to get into doing some ranked races and doing some other stuff with Circuit Superstars because even just playing it uh, single player is fun, but there obviously seems to be a great community out there around it. All right. We got another first place. 43 points. I kind of skipped through it. And then we are up to level 15. Nice. So like the leveling system just basically gives you access to the different cups, different cars, all that stuff. Um, in the, in the Grand Prix mode from what I can gather. I don't know if it really unlocks or, I mean, it unlocks, I think like helmets and different designs on certain things anyways, but I don't think it really restricts you, uh, from doing any of the, you know, the practice runs or anything. If you don't have access to a Grand Prix yet or anything, but I could be wrong. They might've changed that. We're just going to kind of go up here. Oh, we are at a big oval here. Do not want to go into the pits. Oh, they're really squeezing me. All right, now let's go. Now, I should be able to, I don't want to say drift these more, but I feel like I should be able to get them sideways a little bit more. That being said, we are not on dirt. But you know, the way they're set up, with that small tire in the front and that big rear tire in the back. And just the aerodynamic, the way it is, the giant wings, front hand. Well, I was about to say rear, but it's kind of the mid to rear of the vehicle that the giant wing on top is. You know, I don't know enough about these cars to really talk about them <laughs> for any amount of time. Welcome to any YouTuber talking about anything, basically, really, usually. Well, look at this, though. We are flying. And we are very much so off of the ideal line, if you want to go based off of the tread marks here. But we are catching up to the rest of the pack. They're going in the dirt. I guess they're finding whatever dirt's here. <laughs> so we overtook uh, one or two in the back there got another first place um yeah son and argo i guess are the ones that are right under us in terms of points i skipped them again going through here maybe i'll have to live stream this sometimes too i've been you know toying around with the idea of coming back and live streaming and this seems like actually a pretty good game for that kind of thing The loading between stuff is quicker too. I was also, I was intentionally, I picked a game honestly like this that would have a little less uh, demand on my system um, because my system still is not 100% uh, as of the last Windows update. And I feel like this is a good game. And, you know, it's optimized well, still has really good graphics for being, um, you know, this style of game, that more arcadey style. But at the same time, I know my computer's not going to blow up recording it, which is nice. Hey, you have to let me know if you want to see the next difficulty of this. Of the sprint cars. Because I'm enjoying them, even though they're not posing much of a challenge to me. And even when I'm, you know, crashing them kind of out here with our own race race against myself because I want to see more dirt tracks I want to see more Pokeball esque great name too the, the, the track names are great in this game but Pokeball that's beautiful 
All right. Catching up to the back of the pack here. Markers, watch out. Luckily, they go ghosted for us so that we don't really have to worry so much. And uh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. First place. There you go. Wow, look at that point differential. And there you have it. Oh, <laughs> I really thought I really did not count well there. Oh, there we go. We've got dirt and tarmac in between. Really thought that we were at the last race, but this is the la I'm sorry. This is the last race. Oh, I flipped. I spun myself out. Who would have thought? Now, I don't think I can really lose here. Oh my gosh, this is way more difficult than I thought it would be. I guess dealing with the AI is also way more difficult than I thought. These are tight turns in here. Oh my gosh, the entire pack trying to make that turn back there. That's a sight. Trying to go through this ghosted guy. Um, this, this is the most challenging track in these cars so far, I feel like because we're asking very tight, intricate, slow turns out of them um, on mixed surfaces, which that's a handful. Okay, but I think I'm getting it. And you know what? It's good to go into this amateur level to learn the cars, to understand what they can and cannot do. Man, you know, they just require a lot more braking. They're not built for this kind of thing, I think. Oof. And then get up and go. You know, they maintain speed and they kind of maintain that uh, that downforce when at speed. It doesn't really feel like at lower speeds. It's there, but that makes sense. Okay. I think we're still going to... Well, we're, oh, we are. We're still going to get a first place. We're not going to come up on the back markers in this. I think that also was part of the start of me going into the grass and spinning myself out. But nice job in the Sprint Car Cup, the Amateur Sprint Car Cup, 106 versus the closest to us was 66. And uh, got the clean sweep there too. Nice. This gives us all of the different points gained and everything, and we're working our way towards Silver One. Nice. I'm liking the progression system. I'm liking some of the improvements on it and some of the... Oh, that's cool, too. Let's see, we got first, second, and third there on there. Oh, and that's cool to see all the different people and their places down there at the bottom as well. Nice. Okay, there you go. We got some new designs. This one's called Style. <laughs> Mosaico. Cool. We unlocked some designs. All right, well, that's going to be it for this Circuit Superstars. Like I said, if you want to see me uh, go into the next Sprint Car Cup or any of these other ones uh, that we now unlocked, including the Stock Car Cup, which I haven't done yet, um, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the Circuit Superstars. Like I said, the update, the Hot Ride Summer Patch is live, um, and you can get it for your game by just updating it on Steam. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.